uh, in Lanao. Uh, it can range anywhere from 5 to 10. Is that the first, the one dated August? That's your first YSL? Uh, YLS. YLS. Uh, uh, for 2023, it, the, the first one was in May. Uh, it was in uh, Sambuanga del Sur province. 2023, the first one was May. Yes. Uh, and then? Then we have the second one is uh, 16 June 2023. This was in Lanao del Sur, uh, the municipality of Bubong. And then the third? Uh, we have July 26 uh, for the 44th Infantry Battalion in Cabasalan, Sambuanga, Sibugay province, Mr. Chair. Then the we have August. Uh, uh, July 29 uh, in the Dikkilaa National High School, Iligan City. Six. Uh, then on September 29, we have in uh, Barangay Pugan, Concepcion, Misamis Occidental. Then uh, December, tw uh, December 12, we had in uh, Barangay D1, Dipolog City, Sambuanga del Norte. And as I earlier mentioned, uh, another one in Sambuanga del Sur, this time in Domingag uh, Municipality, ma'am. So those are eight uh, that were conducted uh, in the various areas. In Mr. Our Chair, with the manifestation of Colonel Buran Singh, I respectfully move that we issue Sabina Duces Tecum to the head of the schools, are they schools? Uh, uh, no, ma'am. Uh, not all of them are schools. One is Digkalaan. Uh, so what are they if they are not schools? Uh, uh, like, for instance, uh, the first one last May was conducted in a barangay, uh, in a city, ma'am. So Mr. Chair, planning. we are moving, I am moving for the issuance of Sapina Duces Tecum either to head of the school or barangay, which became the recipient of the Youth Leadership Summit yes, conducted by Colonel Buran Singh. Yes, ma'am. Now let's go to... There's a motion by the by Honorable uh, Congressman Luistro to... Issue is a subpoena duces tecum to the head of school or barangay. Second, subject to the why YLS youth, youth leadership summit conducted by Colonel Moran Singh. Is there any second? second? Duly seconded by Honorable Flores. Is there any objection? Hearing none, the motion is carried. May we request as well, Mr. Chair, that the documents in the possession of Colonel Buran Singh, which I believe pertains to the Youth Leadership Summit, be submitted to the committee. Uh, Mother, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, according to the Freedom of Information Act, uh, since uh, these are confidential, we can share it, but uh, if we follow the act, uh, the Philippine Army or the General Headquarters Armed Forces would like to ask a written uh, Request from the committee, which is according to the Freedom of Information Act. The then we will provide. The is uh, requested to draft a uh, letter. Thank you, Mr. Chair. As requested by Colonel Boran Singh. Please continue, Congressman Luistro. Mr. Chair, I wish to direct the next question to Lieutenant Sangdaan. Lieutenant, Lieutenant. Kindly, kindly occupy one of the seats. Have you taken your oath, Lieutenant? Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Lieutenant Sang Daan, I have here a certification which bears your signature, I suppose. This is about the 22 activities for the Youth Leadership Summit and 49 activities for the Information Education Campaign. This was held in the provinces of Ilocos Norte and Ilocos Sur as well as La Union. Do you confirm this certification? Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. 
And the certification, similar to the one issued by Colonel Buran Singh, is addressed to, to whom it may concern on the upper part and then on the lower part for the commander. For the record, Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan, kanino yes. nyo po ba talaga ina-address itong certification? Lieutenant yes, Sangdaan, please. Yes, to the DepEd, ma'am. And can you be particular? Sino po sa DepEd? Uh, ma'am, can I just give the background, ma'am? That was the instruction of I, my commander, and according to my commander, it was Major General Mempin who okay. requested You answered the question already. Yes, ma'am. And similar to the questions which I raised to Colonel Boran Singh, yes, do you have also some documents with you which uh, can provide details about the recipient of this 22 Youth Leadership Summit? Ma'am, right now, ma'am, I don't have the documents because I am no longer with the 5th Infantry Division, ma'am. I'm all, already reassigned to GHQ. But Le I assure you, ma'am, that you can there produce. are documents. In you can the produce. Infantry. Yes, ma'am. Okay. May I just state for the record, Mr. Chair, that Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan committed, manifested his commitment to submit the document about the 22 activities for youth leadership summit. Yes, ma'am. Uh, just like what Colonel Boran Singh have said a while ago, ma'am. I think uh, is it, it's much better for the. Yes, secretary. we will. Yes, we will, Lieutenant Colonel. Yes, what is important, the manifestation of Colonel, uh, Colonel Sangdahan um, for the committee to write a letter. Yun po ba yung gusto ninyo? Yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. Yes, the yes, COMSEC sir. is uh, requested to please, is directed to please um, write a letter requesting for the documents as uh, requested by uh, Congresswoman Luistro. Please, please continue, Congresswoman Luistro. But at least, Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan, can you name some of those 22 activities? Yung naaalala nyo lang po, because this is quite a lot compared to the one which Colonel Bransing had. He had uh, only eight. You had 22. Um, um, uh, actually, these uh, YLS were conducted by the line units of the 5th Infantry Division, sir. Ma'am, just like the 5 of First Brigade, the 5th CMO Battalion, and other infantry battalions in the area, ma'am. As to the specific of which, ma'am, uh, hindi ko na ma-remember, ma'am. You, you mentioned which infantry division conducted this? 5th Infantry Division. San po ba kayo kasama? Sa 5th po ba? 5th Infantry Division, ma'am. As a staff of the 5th Infantry Division, ma'am. As, as one of the staff of the 5th yeah, Infantry yes. Division. But I suppose that since you were the one who certified, you're supposed to have a personal knowledge of what happened. Uh, we base it on, the, on our records, ma'am, on our tabulated you, records. Do you, do you intend to tell us, Lieutenant Colonel, that you were not the one who actually conducted this Youth Leadership Summit? Yes, ma'am. The line units, ma'am, were the one who conducted those activities. If it is not you, then who? The different battalions, ma'am. For example, ma'am, uh, the 77th IB, the 5th CMO Battalion, the... Eh, bakit po kayo ang nag-issue ng certification? We have the tabulated data, ma'am. Yes, I understand. So, but for one to be able to issue a certification, Tapat alam nyo. Tapat may knowledge kayo. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. As a matter of fact, this is an inquiry in aid of legislation. You were sworn in before we started the hearing. And this will elevate the status of being a sworn certification already. Yes, ma'am. Eh, bakit po kayo nag ng certification kung wala kayong personal knowledge? Nag-certify kayo. May 22 Youth Leadership Summit. Tapos hindi nyo po ito personally nalalaman. Is that what you wanted to say? We have personal knowledge, ma'am, because we have it in our data, ma'am. 
that the different line units. You are aware of the data only. Oh, sir, that are but not of the occurrence. Magkaiba po yun. Ganon din, ma'am, sa occurrence niya, ma'am. You are that aware of the occurrence as well? Yes, ma'am, that it was really conducted. Okay, balikan po ulit natin yung question ko. Name some of the youth leadership summit that you conducted, if you are aware of the occurrence. Uh, just like in San Mariano, Isabela, ma'am, we have conducted the uh, YLS there. Barangay uh, po iyan? Municipal, ma'am. Municipal. Ang recipient yes, po natin, sino? Sino pong audience nyo doon? Sino uh, pong participants? The youth from the municipality of San Mariano. There were participants from the students in San Mariano and even out of school youth. Okay. Any yes, other? Any other YLS that you can recall? Uh, as reported by line units, ma'am, also in Baguio City. You are basing your testimony, Lieutenant Colonel, on the report. Tama po ba? Yes, That's what you said. Yes, ma'am. And this will only mean that you are not aware of the occurrence. If the statement that you're giving to us is based on the report and not on the personal knowledge of the occurrence, then you have no personal knowledge of how it happened. I'm aware, ma'am, that it You was are really aware of conducted. the data. You yes, are aware that it happened, but you were not personally there. Yes, yes. You did not participate. Yes, ma'am. We only provided uh, some speakers as requested by the concerned unit. How about this 22 that you mentioned in your certification? Ito ba na-attendan mo lahat? No, ma'am. Honestly, ma'am, no. Ilan out of 22 ang na-attendan mo, Lieutenant Colonel? I think only in San Mariano, ma'am. Only in San Mariano? Ma can I give a background on... Kawa, may I just make a manifestation? How can you validate an accomplishment report with a certification? The signatory has no personal knowledge of what happened. Lieutenant Colonel was able to attend only one out of 22 Youth Leadership Summit. And this is okay with GOA? I'm sorry, but I do not understand. Colonel Buran Singh, if I may call you again, yun pong walo, ilan ang na-attendan nyo doon? Colonel Buran Singh, Out of eight Youth Leadership Summit, ilan po yung na-attendan nyo? Colonel Burensing, you recognize. Yes, uh, Mr. Chair. I was only able to attend one. So that means that you have no personal knowledge as well I have of all the eight youth leadership summit that happened. Uh, I have personal knowledge of this, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Chair, if I may explain lang po, uh, the structure of uh, our, my position is I am the G7 of the infantry division. So... The infantry division has three infantry brigades. Uh, they control uh, three. Uh, one has four provinces. The other has uh, one province, and the other brigade has uh, one province. So I am in charge of supervising. Uh, I am the civil military operations officer, uh, Mr. Chair. So I closely monitor. We all closely monitor the program of the Youth Leadership Summit uh, to ensure that uh, it uh, to ensure that it is multi-stakeholder and it fits the objectives of the program. So we have personal knowledge. Uh, we can't go around in each barangay, but uh, they have, uh, since uh, we used uh, uh, budget from the uh, Philippine Army, we have after activity reports uh, fund utilization reports, pictures, and documentations. And uh, we have to ensure this because uh, we have a yearly 
inspection from higher headquarters. So we may not have been there, but uh, we have uh, personal knowledge. We are the program managers of this book. You mentioned program. a while ago Colonel Boransing. Yes. You were using the fund of the Philippine Army. Uh, you confirm yes, that? Yes, uh, Mr. Are Chair. Are you sure? Yes, yes, Mr. Chair. For the eight YLS yes, uh, that Mr. were Chair. conducted, you used the fund of the Philippine Army. For our participants, we used our, uh, the Philippine Army. The, for the students, uh, they used the local government unit funds, uh, Mr. Chair. Okay, that is clear. Mr. Chair, I just wish to manifest the statement of Colonel Boran Singh that during the Youth Leadership Summit, for the military, they are using their military fund, and for the children or the youth, they are using the LGU fund. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, if I may. Please continue. Yes. Uh, they use, uh, since uh, they use the, some use the provincial local government funds and the municipalities, uh, some delegates also are using the, uh, the uh, municipal LGU funds. And for the participants from the other stakeholders, from DepEd, from BIDEA, from the police, of course, they use their uh, own uh, uh, funds. Uh, so it's really a multi-stakeholder. In uh, other words, uh, Mr. Chair, a lot of offices and agencies are using their respective funds for intelligence in conducting the Youth Leadership Summit. This is your statement, um, Colonel Buran Singh. Um, I didn't say uh, uh, intelligence funds, ma'am. Uh, what I said was, uh, like for instance, for their billeting for the hotel, they have to pay from their own agency funds. For their food, they have to pay for. What is clear, there are different offices uh, involved who in shoulder this. their respective expenses. Yes, Mr. For Chair. the purpose of Youth Leadership Summit. Yes, Tama? Mr. Chair, yes. In other words, it is not only the DepEd. Yes, Mr. Chair. Who spends its confidential fund? Uh, I'm not, I have no knowledge of what their source of funding is. But in as far as you are concerned, kanya kanyang gastos KKB. ang ibat ibang opisina. Uh, and for the children, the youth, you said it is being shouldered by the LGU. Tama? Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Colonel. May we request Lieutenant Colonel Panopio? Colonel Panopio, you are recognized. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor. Colonel, I have with me another certification bearing the signature of Magtanggol Panopio. Is this your signature? Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman. On this certification, you certified 205 youth students from different schools. Three youth leadership summits held in the provinces of Bulacan, Nueva Ecija, and Zambales. You confirm this? Yes, Mr. Chairman, Your Honor. And similar to my question to, the, to Colonel Buran Singh and the other Lieutenant Colonel, Nakalagay po sa certification nyo, to whom it may concern, to sa taas, sa baba, for the commander. Kanino po ba talaga naka-address itong certification nyo? This is addressed to DepEd, ma'am. May I explain for the commander, ma'am? And can you please kindly be particular? Who in DepEd? Ang dami po nila sa DepEd. Sino po sa DepEd ang kausap nyo when you submitted this certification? Yusek uh, Nolasco Mempin, ma'am. That's Yusek Mempin. Okay. And can you please substantiate as well the three youth leadership summit that you conducted in your province? Ikaw ba nakaparticipate dito? Your Honor, Mr. Chairman, hindi po kami nagparticipate specifically because as a staff, we are just supervising and monitoring the activities of the Youth Leadership Summit. So similar to Colonel Buran Singh, you are just aware of the occurrence, but you were not part of the event. Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chairman. 
And with respect to the expenditures for similar programs, would you confirm the statement of Colonel Boransing? Yes, Your Honor.